Today we are going to discuss about electric charges and fields. We know that every substance is made up of atoms. A substance is collection of atoms. And atoms are collection of fundamental particles. What are those fundamental particles? Protons, electrons and neutrons. Atoms are collection of fundamental particles. What are those fundamental particles? They are stated like this. Fundamental particles are first one proton, second one electron, third one neutron. These three particles are called as fundamental particles. Before going to discuss about the main content, we should know some of the basics of atomic structure. We know that proton and neutron, P and N, exist in the nucleus. That's why these two are called as nucleons. We know that proton and neutron exist in the nucleus, that's why they are called nucleons. What about the electron? Electrons revolve around the nucleus. These fundamental particles are classified based on their charge. Protons, neutrons, electrons are all classified based on their charges. First of all, we should know what is charge. Here, we are going to the main concept. What is electric charge? Proton is positively charged. Electron is negatively charged. Neutron is neutrally charged. What is charge? Proton is positively charged, electron is negatively charged, neutron is neutrally charged. What is electric charge? The excess or deficiency. The excess or deficiency of electrons on your body is called electric charge. Of electrons on your body is called electric charge. See here excess or deficiency of electrons. That means some objects may have the excess number of electrons, some objects lack of electrons. This excess amount of electrons or electrons are gained by any substance, that ob substance is called negatively charged. If any substance having lack of electrons, that substance is called positively charged. We are going to 
see the some examples of this electrification and charging as we already discussing about the electric charge excess or deficiency of electrons is called electric charge this charge is two types positively charged and negatively charged and negative charge what is the meaning of positive charge if any substance is losing the electrons in any process of electrification that substance is called positively charged and i'm repeating if any substance is losing the electrons in any process of electrification that is called as positively charged body if any substance gaining the electrons in any process of the electrification that body is called as negatively charged body so positively charged body means loss of electrons positive charge means loss of electrons according to the definition deficiency of electrons negative charge gain of electrons or excess of electrons gain of electrons or excess of electrons how these electrons are any charged particles will transfer from one body to the another body or one atom to the another atom or one substance to the another substance there are three different ways of charging a body those are called as first one induction second one conduction first one induction second one conduction third one friction why we are dealing with these three topics yes see the definitions loss of electrons or gain of electrons how a body can lose the electrons and how a body can gain the electrons there is a process called electrification or charging a body these three are called as different ways of charging a body in these three ways any one way is possible to loss of electrons or gain of electrons that's why these three are collectively called as ways of charging a body how the charge will transfer in induction process how the charge will transfer in conduction process how the charge will transfer in friction process we are going to deal in the next now we are going to discuss about charging by induction listen carefully what is charging by induction take a neutral body means the total charge of that body is zero neutral and we want to charge it and this neutral body will be charged by another charged body without making any physical contact between them that means it will be like this charging a neutral body charging a neutral body by another charged body without making any physical contact between them contact bit 
between them. That means take a body, its charge is zero, nothing but neutral. Now I want to inject the charge to this neutral body. For this purpose, I am placing another charged body which is close to the neutral body but not any physical contact means these two bodies are not at all in contact they are separated by some distance and this is a charged body the charge which is present in this charged body can develop an induced charge in the neutral body that's why the charge developed in the neutral body is called induced charge. But the charge which is present in the charged body is called inducing charge. Again I am saying this is a neutral body. Now I want to charge it. That's why I am placing a charged body by maintaining some gap. And as already I said that there is no physical contact between these two bodies. The charge which is present in the charged body is called inducing charge. This inducing charge can produce an amount of induced charge in the neutral body. Like this, a neutral body can be charged. Next process, charging by conduction. What is the meaning of charging by conduction? A neutral body as usual it should be charged that's why we are placing this neutral body in contact with the charged body see this one conduction what is the meaning of conduction? Conduction means the flow of electrons from source to receiver. If you see the electric circuits in our domestics, okay, source and receiver all are connected through the wires. That means whenever the charge is trans started to transfer from the source, it should be reached to the receiver through the wires. That means there is a physical contact between the source and receiver through the wires such like that if a neutral body should be charged this neutral body should place in contact with the charged body then only the conduction process will be possible. So the way of charging a neutral body by placing in contact with a charged body is called conduction. So let me write the definition. The way of charging a neutral body by placing it in contact with a charged body. See this one, the way of charging a neutral body by placing it in contact with a charged body is called conduction process. We already discussed induction there, there is no contact, they are separated, induced charge and inducing charge are related like this and here conduction, source and receiver are in contact. Maybe this diagram can be written like this. Neutral body, charged body. Best example for the conduction is yes, we are keeping our mobiles to be charged. Whenever the power is going to decrease to the some extent level, we are keeping to the plug. That means that mobile is under the charging process. What is the way of charging in this case? Charging through conduction because the source and the receiver are made in contact through the plug. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.